everybody! I am That Nursing Prof and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the different types of lochia. So let's get into it. So first of all, what is lochia? It is the vaginal discharge. So after you have a baby, when you're postpartum, you have a vaginal discharge. Most people just refer to this as the blood or the bleeding after delivery. And yes, it is mostly blood. So it contains blood, mucus, and then parts of the necrotic decidua. So that's what's in it, but most people just call it the blood. It should either have no odor, or if it does have an odor, it should be similar to like your menstrual flow kind of odor, like during your period, that kind of odor. It should never have a strong odor because that would be indicative of some sort of infection. So there's three stages of lochia and they do have to go in this order. So first we have lochia rubra, which is like the bright red bleeding. This is the kind we have initially after delivery. And usually it is the heaviest in the first two hours after delivery. So when you're still in that like recovery stage, it'll be bright red. It'll last one to three days on average and may contain clots. And now when I'm talking about blood clots here, I'm talking about small blood clots, okay? So the size of change, like nickels and dimes, little clots, things like that. Big clots, it doesn't matter what stage you're in, big clots are never normal. So big clots being an egg or bigger, that's too big. Then after rubra, we go to serosa, which is either like a pinkish color, or a lot of times it's more like that dark reddish brown color, kind of like that color that old blood is, if you can picture that in your head. That's serosa. At this point, we should have no clots. Any clot of any size, even little ones, would be abnormal at this point. And then for some women, this may last up to 27 days. And then the final thing it goes to is something called alba, which is a yellowish to a white in color. It starts on day 10 and can last up to the whole six weeks. So the whole six weeks postpartum, you could have this yellow to white color. It's very, very important that it goes in this order, okay? So it has to be rubra serosa alba. You never want it to go backwards, okay? And I put that over here. It should never go backwards. If it is, like if you're already at serosa and then it goes back to rubra and it's that bright red, you need to call your doctor. That's not normal, that's not okay. A lot of times it means infection. Some other things I also wanted to point out it may be increased in the morning, and that's just because it's been pooling there while you're sleeping, and then it will increase with exertion as well. So if you're just doing too much as a new mom, you're too busy, you're running around, you're not taking that time to rest like you need to, you're probably gonna bleed more. And then the other thing I wanna talk about is kind of like a myth, the idea that if you have a C-section that you're not gonna have any lochia, and that's not true. C-section moms, just like vaginal moms, will have lochia. Usually though, they will have less lochia, okay? So they'll still have it, it just might not be as much, and they are less likely to have clots in this first stage. And I'm gonna do an analogy here, and it's gross, but go with me on it. So what happens is, after you know, baby comes out, placenta comes out, what they do is they have your uterus, it's on top of your stomach, and they kind of clean it out. Like they scrape it out, almost like you're scraping out the seeds for a, like a jack-o'-lantern on a pumpkin, right? So they kind of get everything out. So you're less likely to have clots if you have a C-section and you bleed less, but you still do have some, okay? So that's important, that's a myth I wanted to clear up. And then again, you should never go backwards. It should always go in this order. So that was my video on the different types of lochia. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if not, I'll see you on the next one.